And now to that ABC News exclusive tonight, revealing how serious and how real the threat is here at home. Video never before seen until tonight right here. The FBI and the terrorist who they say was determined to kill right here in America. ABC senior justice correspondent Pierre Thomas with the tapes. That's Amin al Khalifi in a D.C. area hotel room brandishing a machine gun he hoped to use to massacre members of Congress at the U.S. Capitol. It's fully automatic. So that means when you hold the how many, how many hits in here? 30. It's full auto. You hold the trigger, it's going to keep firing. Tonight, this exclusive look inside an it's FBI undercover sting targeting a man the Bureau believes was a homegrown radical, a would-be suicide bomber. This is one more example of the fact that this threat that we have talked about is very real. Here's Khalifi at a Home Depot buying nails to use as shrapnel in an explosive vest. Thick ones I got, thick ones, not thin ones. The one who's gonna make damage, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, don't be nervous, man. Come on, man. This is Khalifi driving out to test a bomb, unaware that the men that are with him are undercover FBI. He thinks they're Al Qaeda. Uh, I'm gonna uh, put everything in my body. I'm gonna go inside, uh, like a, a, a real place, maybe a uh, capital. I'm done. I'm done. My, my work is done in this life. The FBI records his every move, even as he pulled into a West Virginia rock quarry where they would test the bomb. Watch as the FBI undercover gives Khalifi a cell phone rigged to detonate an explosive that is planted outside the car. I want you to play the call so you can see how it works. Okay, now hit then. The bomb detonates. Whoa. Not impressed, Khalifi wants a bigger bomb. Oh, but brother, this is, this is not strong enough, man. Khalifi was a Moroccan national living just outside of Washington, D.C. when the sting operation took place in 2012. He hardly seemed the terrorist type, known on the party scene working as a local DJ. But would Khalifi really have done it? Critics would say this is entrapment. At the end of the day, all we can say is watch that tape. Pierre, I know you and your team have been working on this for quite some time. So what's happened to Khalifi? David, he was arrested only two blocks from the U.S. Capitol on the morning of February 17, 2012. He had a machine gun and was attempting to put on what he thought was a suicide vest. He pled guilty and is now serving 30 years in jail. All right, Pierre Thomas with us tonight. Pierre, thank you.